All right, ready for our next lesson in math. Today, we are going to pretend that we all got to celebrate uh, Fernando and uh, Aiden's birthdays. They were both in April. Uh, Fernando's is a little bit later, and Aiden already had his birthday. So we're going to pretend that Aiden and Fernando threw a party, and they had to go clean up the room because all of you students made a big mess. Um, there were some balloons and some party hats left on the ground. And so they had to organize them and figure out how many of each got left behind. So we're going to create a chart like this, and we're going to count each one just like we did before, creating circles. Um, after we do that, we're going to be practicing making compare statements. Let's start first with counting each of them. All right, let's go back, look at the picture. We have one, two, three, four balloons. So I'm going to make out one, two, three, four balloons. Let's go ahead and count the hats. All right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six hats. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Now remember, we're grouping these by groups of five. So since I'm going straight out, I'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap here before I start making the next one for six. Okay, so we have six hats and we have four balloons. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to see, can you tell already which ones there, there is more of? Yes, you're correct. You can already see that there are more hats. Now, my next question is, how many more? So we're going to be using two strategies. This is gonna be called my, this is called my break apart stick, okay? All right, so with my break apart stick, I can go and try to make matches until there are no more matches. So I can see that this hat has a balloon that can go with it, and this one has a balloon that can go with it, and same here and here, but this one, does it have a match at the top? It does not. So I'm gonna put my break apart stick right here, and I can see that over on this side, each of them would have a match, on this side, these ones do not. Okay, another way that you can see this is by actually drawing the matches. You can see a match to match. Okay, here to here, here to here. You would see that there are two hats that are left over. So we can say this a couple ways. We can say that there are two more hats than balloons. We can also say it using the word fewer. We call these compare words, more and fewer. So we could say that there are two fewer balloons than hats. Okay, two fewer balloons than hats. All right, if you go ahead and tear out for me page 179. Okay, looks like this. I'll give you a chance to go ahead and get that started. And pause the video if you need some time. All right, good job. Okay, so first we're going to draw lines to compare and we're gonna complete the sentences that we see, okay? All right, so this one wants us to draw the lines from Mara's apples to Todd's apples, all right? So here we go, we got one to one for each one, drawing the matches until we run out. Oh, can I do this one? No, I cannot. Okay, so I can use my break apart stick to kind of help see and separate. I can see that these are going to be the ones that are left over that don't have a match. So who, who has more? Mara has more. Okay, and so when we look at this, we see that Mara has, now it wants to know our compare number. Our compare number is the number that's different, the part that doesn't have a match. So here, one, two, three, four is our compare number. So the compare number is four, okay? Now, does Mara have four more apples or does Mara have four fewer apples? Well, we already know that Mara has more apples. So Mara has four more apples, okay, than Todd. Now let's look at this one. It starts with Todd. It says Todd has, hmm, more or fewer apples than Mara. So Todd has, now what's the number? And again, we're still gonna be using this number because it's our compare number. 
So the number is still going to be 4, but let's think about the word. We're talking about Todd now. Does Todd have more apples or does Todd have fewer apples than Mara? He has fewer apples. So you do have to pay attention to who they're talking about in order to find your compare word. Okay, so your compare number notice is the same. The compare word changes if your person is changing in the sentence. Okay, all right, let's look at the next one. It says each ant gets one crumb. How many more crumbs are needed? What do you think? What are you going to do first? Oh, I know, I know what to do. Uh, yes, yes, Flash. Okay, so I've been watching this like for a long time. Okay, so first, you're going to draw a line from a crumb to an ant. Yeah, right. Okay. Am I done? Oh, uh, no. Gotta keep going. Oh, okay. So, like, like this? Yeah, like that. Okay, keep going. Oh, uh, yeah. And another one? Okay, good. That's it. Done. I'm done? My problem's over? Well, uh, no. You gotta, like, you know, figure out how many are left without a match. Okay, so what, what do I do there? Uh, right here. Okay, so I will, I'll circle the ones that didn't have matches. Uh-huh. Okay, well, so let's look at this question. It says how many more crumbs are needed. So what's that mean, Flash? Well, like, the other ants, they're like jealous because they don't have a crumb. So we have to figure out how many crumbs to give them so they don't sneak into our beds at night and bite our legs. That would be a good reason to give them crumbs. All right, let's count how many. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we need six more crumbs. Okay, I'll go get them. No, wait, Flash, we don't... We don't... Flash? Ugh, Flash, he's so funny. He thinks these are real, real ants and they need real crumbs. All right, so we said that there were six crumbs that we needed for that one. Good. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the next one. It says, each bee gets one flower. Each bee gets one flower. How many extra flowers are there? Oh, I would like to help with this one. I love flowers. Okay, go ahead and help us with this one. Okay, so this bee, he's going to go with that flower. All right, good. And this bee, he's going to go with that flower. Okay. And um, that one again, and then that one again. All right, sounds good. Um, and then what do we need to do? Um, you need to draw a circle around the extra flowers, and they're like lonely because they don't have any bees for them. Okay, I'll put a circle around the ones that don't have any matches. All right, so now what do I need to do? You need to count them. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to put a five right here. All right, put a five right there. All right, what do you think is going to happen to those flowers? Well, I would love to pick them and take them home with me and smell them every day. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Princess. I'm sure the flowers would be happy with you. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and turn this over. All right. Some fruit. We've got fruit here. We always like problems with food. Okay, so it wants us to sort the fruit. It wants us to record with pictures. Okay, we're going to be using um, our circle dots to be our pictures. All right, so first it wants bananas. Hey, <coughs> this is bananas. I like bananas. You do? You like bananas? Uh-huh. And oranges, too. All right. You can help us. Okay. Here's it. One, two, three, four. Four bananas. Okay. We'll put four bananas. One, two, three, and four. Is it now? Oranges. Okay. So you want to count the oranges? Uh-huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm. Spike loves eight oranges. Eight oranges, okay. Oh, but Spike, we forgot something over here. What? We were supposed to put how many? Oh. Oops. All right, well, that's okay. Everybody makes mistakes. Even teachers do. Really? Oh, yeah, all the time. Okay, how many oranges do you remember, Spike? Oh, it was uh, eight oranges. Okay, we'll do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So we're going to put it eight right here because that's what we were supposed to do before, right? <coughs> okay. So now it wants us to complete the sentences. It wants us to ring, which means circle spike. Okay. The word more or fewer for each of these sentences. So we have to pay attention to what the words say. <sighs> okay, Audrey. 
All right, so there are, hmm, more or fewer bananas than oranges. So first we need to figure out our compare number. Do you remember how to do that? Uh -huh. Let me go get something. Compare stick. Yep, you're right, you could use your compare stick. All right, where would you put that? Yeah, that's, that's good. You'd put your compare stick right there. And what can you notice with your compare stick? There's like four over there that don't have buddies. The oranges are lonely. But this four, four is the compare number. Good job, so four. Okay, so we know that our compare number is four. Now we need to know if it's more or fewer. So to know that, we need, Spike, to look over here. Bananas than oranges. Are there more bananas than oranges or fewer bananas than oranges? So which one is ban bananas? Is it more or fewer? Uh, they're not that many. You're right. So the one that means not that many is fewer. Okay, then fewer. You're right. So let's try that out. Okay. There are four fewer bananas than oranges. Did I get it right? Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> All right, we've got one more to do. Oh, okay. All right, there are, hmm, more or fewer oranges than bananas. Oh, um, compare number stays the same. Good, you learned, you saw what we were doing with princess. Okay, but now this is where it gets tricky. We need to know if it's oranges than bananas. We need to know is it more oranges than bananas or fewer oranges than bananas. So we're looking at the word oranges since it happened first, we're using that. Is there, are there more oranges or fewer oranges? Uh, more oranges. You're right, there are more oranges. Let's say it with us and make sure we're right. There are four more oranges than bananas. Is that correct, Spike? Yep, that's right. Oh, good job, Spike. Thanks. Okay, all right, next one. We've got some vegetables here. Okay, we're gonna sort the vegetables. We have carrots and we have peppers and let's go ahead and start counting them. Hey, wait for me. Oh, are you back? Yeah, I couldn't find any crumbs for the ants. They're all gone, no crumbs. I think they're gonna eat me tonight, but I'll just have to take that chance and run fast away from them. Okay, I really don't think that they're gonna come alive. They're just on our paper. Oh, you should've told me that. I tried to, but you rushed out before I could tell you. Oh, I feel silly. Okay, uh, let's do this problem. All right, so, uh, I think I forgot what to do. Well you got to count each of the different things and, and then put them in circles right here. And then we'll figure out which ones have more and which ones have less. Oh, okay. All right, so what does it ask for first? I think that says, care, care. I need to do better reading. Carrots. Yes, you're right. That's carrots. Okay, so let's count the carrots. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine carrots. That's a lot of carrots. All right, let's put them on there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're gonna put a nine right here on the end, okay? And now we're gonna count the what, Flash? Uh, peppers. Peppers, I like peppers. Yeah, peppers are good. Okay, count the peppers. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Five, six. All right, so now we're gonna put a six over here so we keep our count. Now it wants us to know there are, hmm, more or fewer peppers than carrots. So in order to find our compare number, we have to compare the two. Do you know what we're gonna use to compare the two? Uh, that stick thing. Yeah, it's called our compare stick. Yeah, yeah, that thing. Okay, where are we gonna put it? Do you think we're gonna put it here? Nope. You think we're gonna put it here? Uh, still no. How about over here? Uh, are you messing with me? No, I'm just asking. Uh, try again. How about right here? Yep, that's right, that's right. Okay, you're good. I was just trying to see if you were paying attention. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so now I need to figure out if there are, what's my compare number? So we've got one, two, three that are over here. So three is our compare number. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move that out of the way. Now we need to know, so it goes peppers than carrots. So peppers are the first word here. So are there more peppers 
than carrots? Are there more peppers? Or are there fewer peppers? Uh, fewer peppers. Yes, you're right. There are fewer peppers than carrots. So remember, again, we're switching it around. Notice the words, they switched positions here. It's still going to be three, but let's pay attention. It says carrots than peppers. So are there more carrots than peppers? Uh, yeah. You're right. Good. Okay. We'll go ahead and put that there. All right. So um, thanks for helping us out, Flash. No problem. All right, so you are going to be um, doing some homework very similar. You're going to line them up. Pay attention to where the words are in the sentences. And you saw how we were able to find our compare numbers. And it's always going to be this first word here that you can kind of say the compare word for. So like I just did here, I said, are there fewer peppers or are there more peppers? I knew that there were fewer peppers, and then I said the whole sentence to myself. There are three fewer peppers than carrots, and it made sense. All right, good luck on your homework.